There's another way to enter in black box models. As we discussed in the previous section, a black box, mod black box model primarily just gives you the PFD and the spurious trip rate of the subsystem or the component, uh, which allows you to enter that information directly and obviate the need for the Vertigo calculation engine to calculate those numbers for you. So uh, the key with a black box model is that the PFD and the spurious trip rate need to be calculated externally. Well, often the external tool that you'll use to perform these more complex and detailed calculations is a fault tree. And if you're using the Conexus Arbor fault tree analysis tool, we have a way to more easily link these things together. So uh, let me show you again. Let's say, for instance, we had a complex system of three components, a pressure transmitter, a temperature transmitter, and a flow transmitter, and all three of those are combined to calculate the pressure temperature compensated flow. Well, there is no equation per se to handle that situation, and you need to model it a little bit more rigorously. So if I wanted to do that, what I would do is I would create an arbor fault tree, and in this case, it's already done. I would create one fault tree for PFD and one fault tree for spurious trip rate. So let's go ahead and take a look at at the fault tree uh, for <clears throat> the uh, probability of failure on demand. So you'll he see here it's a simple uh, matter of events and gates and voting arrangements and so on. And there are details about the event models uh, that you would, you would also need to know. But ultimately, we've calculated a probability of failure on demand Q. So now, once the spray strip rate and the PFD have been calculated, you can use them inside a Vertigo study. So I'll open the Vertigo study back up, uh, go into the sensor type list, and I can create a new sensor type. And let's call this PT Compensated Flow. And it is also going to be a black box model. But in this case, instead of entering the PFD and the spurious trip rate in directly, I'm going to go ahead and link it to a fault tree. When I click there, it goes out into the project and it finds all the studies that you can link to. So in this case, I'm going to say PT compensated flow PFD, and I will do the same thing uh, with the spurious trip rate. So now when I do this, I click insert, and you will see that PT compensated flow shows up in the database and when I click on it to look at the details again you'll see that the PFD from the fault tree was pulled in as was the spurious trip rate uh, that w was pulled in from the associated fault tree files. So this way you can do your complex calculations externally but they're linked tightly to the uh, Vertigo study. This is the great advantage of using the KISS framework because all the applications work together and communicate with each other in a common database to make project flows go easier uh, and make it easier to maintain the data throughout the entire safety life cycle. So you'll see that it will always update itself to the most recent version of the fault tree. And then also, uh, when I go back out into the list and I open up the fault tree, there's even information on the fault tree side knowing which studies that this fault tree has been associated with. So we know uh, that this fault tree study has been associated with the Texas City gas, gas plant. It's been linked to the instrument called PT Compensated Flow.